In the Volkswagen testing grounds, production and pre-production models are tested around the clock on very varying routes. One of these routes is known as the critical course. The strain to which cars are subjected here within a short period of time makes them age more quickly than they normally do. 10,000 kilometers on this course equates to a distance of 140,000 kilometers when driving in everyday traffic. This is not only fatiguing for materials, but also for test drivers. In the course of developing driver assistance systems, it was Volkswagen's aim to demonstrate ways of relieving the strain on test drivers. The autonomous driving research project thus came into being. The object of the project was to examine how vehicles could cover the critical course independently without subjecting test drivers to the exceptional strain this entails. What features must a car have to enable routine journeys to be made automatically? First of all, the exact position of the vehicle must be known at all times. A satellite navigation system supplies the necessary information. A number of sensors recognizes any obstacles there may be on the road. Several laser scanners monitor the area around the car from the front, from the right, from the left, and from the rear. They therefore cover the entire area surrounding the vehicle. An additional radar sensor and electronic cameras monitor the road in the direction of travel. The Volkswagen Group Research Division fitted a test car with various sensors to enable the position of the vehicle and any obstacles to be pinpointed. Several laser scanners and a radar unit, on the left in the picture, supply information on objects in the vicinity of the vehicle. Additional information on the course of the road and any obstacles blocking the way comes from an image processing system. This is the aerial for receiving satellite signals, which serve to determine the position of the vehicle on the Earth's surface. Together with an exact digital map, this gives information as to the vehicle's current position on the road. Once the starting point and destination have been entered in the system, a corridor is calculated, through which the exact route of the vehicle is set. A computer system converts all this information into control signals for a driving robot. The robot then turns the steering wheel, operates the accelerator, clutch and brakes, and changes gear. Test drives on the dynamic area of the Volkswagen testing grounds have shown that the system works. During the journey, the control system continuously compares the course to be covered with the data supplied by the sensors. On test drives, special microphones record every sound and a camera monitors the instrument panel. In this way, inconsistencies can be registered and evaluated, for example, incorrect speedometer readings. The automatic driver has no difficulty in recognizing obstacles on the road. To be on the safe side, the vehicle has a second assistance system. This intervenes only if there is danger of a collision. If objects are detected, the system checks while the vehicle can brake or safely avoid the obstacle. In some cases, however, it is not possible to drive around the obstacle, and the vehicle then remains stationary in front of it. The autonomous vehicle now only has to prove its ability on the critical course.
shall undoubtedly continue to drive our cars ourselves in future, but these findings are already being included in the development of new vehicles. Together with its partners and with the support of the state of Lower Saxony, Volkswagen has demonstrated the feasibility of a system of this kind.